Welcome back. We're doing post-game now, and I sense a lot of trouble, dude. Collect more mana and go to the assembly. You might find a new topic, dude. That being said, more's coming up, dude. Hit the who? I want a fallen angel fl Oh. It's gone. Alright then. Is that it? Oh, hello. So this is where the DLC mo parallel world are. Welcome to the time traffic shop. Would you like to go to the Fuku and Desco show? Or would you like to time leap? I know what time leap is, but let's go to the show. Welcome to the time... What? One dark night, a blood-red moon rises in the Hades sky. The curtain of tragedy opens under the glow of the ominous yet beautiful red moon. In the name of Death Amazel, I hereby deliver thy soul to the red moon! Oh, this is going to be a terrible stage play or something, isn't it? Dude. What are you talking about? I knew you were crazy to begin with, but have you finally lost your mind completely? It's entirely possible. You're the one who's out of your mind. Desko can't believe you're attacking these helpless prinnies from behind. But they know what's going on clearly because they're not moving even though one of them has died. I mean, he is death. Well, I am a demon and death. Oh yeah, I forgot about the demon bit. As death, it is my duty to reap the souls of the prinnies who have paid off their sins and to send them to the red moon. Why the red moon? Why? 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 I'm just doing my duty, understand? It's my J-O-B. Now go away and leave me alone. That's death's job? Oopsie! Big Sis, we got it all wrong! We're the ones who were getting pissed off for no reason! Reaping the pretty souls and sending them to the Red Moon. Oh, I think I remember a pretty telling me something about that a long time ago! I completely forgot about it until now! How could you forget about it? This pertains to you, too, you know. What do you mean by that? I'm Fuka, not a prinny. I'm still an active middle schooler. Uh-huh. Sure. Okay. Whatever. This is all a dream, and you're not dead. So can you leave me alone now? I've got things to do, if we're done talking. I mean, he's a very busy person. I mean, he's death. You, you imagine how many people die, including prinnies? I suppose. Wait, what are you two doing here anyway? Even if the Red Moon is out, it doesn't mean anything to Prinnies who haven't paid off their sins. Me and Desko were just checking out the moon. We've never seen a Red Moon like that before. It happens occasionally. It's the Blood Moon. Yes, and then we saw a bunch of Prinnies wandering around. So we followed them here. Hmm, I see. Well... You guys didn't mean any harm. I gotta get back to work now, so go home and go to bed. I don't mind leaving you alone, but answer one thing for me. What happens to the souls of the prinnies after they're sent off to the Red Moon? They are cleansed of their sins from their past life, and the purified souls are sent back to the human world. Oh, that's kind of cool. So the prinnies go for all this so they get a second chance at life and then maybe become good and go to Celestia. Back to the human world? Does that mean they start a brand new life as a human? New life? Seriously? S so is that rumor true? You know, about that thing that makes wishes come true? Wishes come true? What do you mean? 
Does it have anything to do with purifying sins? Oh, I see. Okay. I know you don't want to say it out loud, and I don't want to get you in trouble. What are you talking about? You're not making any sense. Indeed. Uh-huh, sure. Mm-hmm. <laughs> 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 Huh? Now she's laughing about something? Are you sure she's okay? What's the matter, big sis? Have you really lost your mind? No way! I finally figured it out! My ticket to waking up from this nightmare! Alright, let's start strategizing, Desko! Desco has no idea what's going on, but she will do anything for Big Sis. Anything? That's that's a bit troubling there, Desco. I bet she hasn't figured anything out. I hmm. And this is how Fuka's epic plan to awaken from her nightmare began. What kind of plan did Fuka come up with after their intensive meeting? Where can I find the most money in the netherworld? You've got to know, right? From when you were stealing all that money. But, uh, money? How many times do I have to tell you? I was only collecting the money that was supposed to be going to Celestia. If you use the word stealing to describe my actions one more time, I will slap you with a big fine. So you still have the money. Anyway, the area with the most money. I've already collected from Fort Knockers, so right now... I suppose the Mint would be your best bet. It's the place that makes all the currency that's circulating around the Netherworld. But why do you want to know about things like that all of a sudden? Big Sis is trying to gather a lot of money to pay for her sins. What? Then that means... You're finally admitting that you died! You're finally able to accept it! Probably not. I'm so proud of you, Fuka! It takes a lot of courage to accept your own death. Ugh! How many times do I have to say this? I'm not dead! Plus, why are you so happy? You're acting like you want me to be dead. That's not what I meant! If you still think this is a dream, then why are you trying to pay off your sins to begin with? I couldn't put an end to my nightmare, even after defeating the Netherworld President, those aliens, and Fear the Great. So, I changed my mind and figured I might as well try to pay off my sins as a printy. I mean, what else is there for me to do? Well, aside from changing your mind... Basically, you've decided to take the righteous path as a printy. Strangely. But Fuka, you have to understand one thing. Prinnies pay off their sins by earning money through work. Sure, the Mint makes a lot of money, but working there doesn't mean that you will earn a lot of money. Oh, I knew that! That's why I've decided to collect money from there. How? This is gonna be like a heist. What? Do you even know what that means? Don't be so rude. Of course I do. Sort of. I've saved the netherworld a bunch of times, but I haven't gotten paid for any of it. That's a fair point. You should be rewarded. So, I'm just gonna go collect what's owed to me. That's what collecting is, right? Mm. Ooh, Desko thinks that Big Sis actually gets it. Oh, well, you may be right. But even if you are justified, the security system at the Mint is one of the toughest ever built. It's not going to be as easy as you think. That's why I'm talking to you, Artina. Seeing as how you're a professional repo lady, you should help me. What? Are you telling me to help you pull a heist? As an angel, I couldn't possibly do that. I knew it was heading this way. Oh, yeah? You haven't returned to Celestia because you aren't done collecting money from the Netherworld, right? If you're here just to collect money, then this is one of the best opportunities you're ever going to get. Or, are you hanging out in the Netherworld because you don't want to leave Bowsy? 
Is it taboo though? The, no, I'm here to collect. The Netherworld still owes Celestia about 199 billion 900 million hell. Oh my. That's so much. What are we waiting for? We need to hurry. Oh? Well, no. The Netherworld is just starting to recover, so we don't need to. Oh, really? So you're just taking your time, hanging out with Valzy? Quick, on to the mint! It feels like I'm being coerced into doing this, but whatever. It'll be my pleasure to help you. Dear, oh dear. <gasps> Yay! With our Tina on our side, we're gonna get that money for sure! It, is that compliment, or...? All right! Then the three of us together are the beautiful Phantom Girls. Phantom Thief? Hmm. That might be an idea for a game, though. F Phantom Thief? Don't forget, we're just going to collect. Episode 1. Heartbreak. Beautiful Phantom Thieves. Phantom Thieves. You going with that. Alright then, how, how do I start this? Actually, go in here. Go to the postlude. The postlude. So it's basically telling me if I want to go back to that. Right. It's. Yeah. I see. I see. It is basically whether or not we want to do the other stuff. Yeah. Yeah. I I know what's going on. Don't worry about it. Okay, let's go see what kind of things the mint has to offer. It's like it's the opposite of a prelude, basically. Starting with Recon! Ooh, how very Phantom Thief-like! Um, please stop using the word thief. What's the big deal? It's so sexy sounding, isn't it? We're here to steal your heart. It, what? Anyway. Oh no. To correct the wrongdoings of the universe, Archangel Flan is here to stay! Uh, Archangel. Oh, I knew you'd be here, Lady Flan. Have you come to correct the mistake that Fuka is about to make? Yes, that's right. You girls are about to make a big and terrible mistake. It's not going to be the mistake we're thinking, is it? How can you establish a phantom thief gang without having a cool team name? Yeah, I knew it. Um, Lady Flan? Just checking, but this means the Archangel officially approves the thief gang part, right? Is coming up with a team name so important that an Archangel had to come all the way here to tell us that? Of course it is! The three of you have formed a phantom thief gang for crying out loud. You have to have a team name. It's the law. You would be going against God's will if you don't. Wouldn't be the first time. It's that important, huh? I know. I have some name ideas. Oh, don't worry about this offer. You should feel lucky to have an archangel give you a name. Worry? I mean, you know how you're always ranting about love. I just get the feeling that you'll give us some stereotypical, cliche female hero group name. Yeah, what? What? Cliche? Well, sometimes fitting into a stereotype is a good thing, isn't it? Lady Flan, this is your chance to show us your dignity as an archangel. Please, do your best. Oh, okay. Then let's focus on how you are Phantom Thieves and that there are three of you. The Phantom Thieves the Third! Just call them the Phantom Thieves. Really? That sounds wrong in so many ways. How about Bobby's Banditas? Bobby's Banditas? What the hell are you talking about? Now you're just being ridiculous. 
Ah! You don't like this, you don't like that! We'll never be able to decide! Why don't you come up with something? L Lady Flan, now you're getting mad at them for no reason! We're all girls from Hades, so how about the Hades girls? Hmm, it's not very unique, but it's a whole lot better than Bobby's Banditas. Sounds good to me. I prefer Phantom Thieves, but alright. I mean, something tells me you're going to go with that based on some DLC in Disgaea 5. Well, wait, Lady Flan. I don't think we should name the group Angels when I'm the only angel. Why not? It's already been approved by an Archangel. Try Angels it is. <laughs> and I'll be the commander who watches over the angels from afar. Uh-huh. Look, Lady Flan... Are you sure about this? Yes, we know what she's referencing. <laughs> Try angels, huh? I feel like I'm a real angel now, too. This is so awesome. Desco is a final boss and an angel. <laughs> this is better than awesome. Oh, I'm glad everyone's happy. I'm looking forward to seeing you angels do your thing. See you later. Sure thing, Charlie. And there she goes. It's hard to tell whether she's really busy or has too much time on her hands. Or somehow both at the same time. Lady Flan only visited us to make sure everything was going to be okay. She was worried about us. Yes, that's right. Uh -huh. Plus, having a name will come in handy when we send a warning letter to the Mint. So coming up with our name was very important. A warning letter? Why should we do that? They're going to be waiting for us when we get there. We are completely justified to collect money from them, so they have the right to know. It's important that we give them a warning. Formalities are always important. An overlord or final boss always has to kidnap a princess and then wait for the hero to confront them. That's not quite what I meant, but it's close enough. Please let me know when you figure out how much money you're going to collect. I will write up a traditional noble warning letter for us. Okay, Artina, you take care of all the formalities. The beautiful Phantom Thief Triangles gracefully set off on their first mission! Yay! <laughs> That's so troubling. Lady Flan, I feel like I'm heading straight down the path of a fallen angel full speed ahead. Yeah. Am I just thinking too hard? No. Fuka and Desco show a moment of greed. So this is the mint. Hmm. Kind of makes me laugh just thinking about demons being hard at work printing money in there. Desco is pretty sure they just force printies to do it. I mean, it would make sense, wouldn't it? If we take money from them, They'll have to work harder to make more. Then, they'll be able to pay off their sins a lot faster. Oh, this is like killing two birds with one stone. <laughs> Go, Big Sis! That's perfectly logical. Yeah, it's perfectly logical. It seems like you're only trying to justify your actions to me. No worries. All's well that ends well. Not really. I mean, it depends how you get there. The beautiful Phantom Thief Triangels. We're gracefully gonna case the joint. Are we walking through the front door? Now you're being really ridiculous. We need to be more careful. We're not taking their money yet, so we don't need to sneak around. We should ask to take a tour. Oh, <laughs> Sneaking around isn't suitable for Big Sis or a final boss. 
Hey, you two! Calm down or they'll find us! Stop right there! Meow! Who are you? This is a corruptorment facility. Meow! Authorized personnel only. <laughs> meow. Uh, that was quick. Ah, a corruptorment facility? Authorized personnel only? Hmm, who do you think I am? Fuka. I'm Fuka Kazamatsuri. The girl who saved this netherworld from crisis after crisis. With her sister, Desko. And this is the angel, Artina. We are the beautiful phantom thief. Wait, Desko? You just told them all of our names. Ah, uh, well. Fuka, meow. <gasps> You're one of the heroes who saved the netherworld with Tyrant Velvatorius. The unprinny who wound up in Hades because of her schemes for world domination. Meow. What did you say? I'm me, not a prinny. I'm perfectly fine. You said unprinny, didn't he? That's right. Big Sis is perfect. And the perfect Big Sis is here to check up on a facility in the netherworld she saved. So step aside and show us around, especially where you store all the money. Did you really think I'd fall for that, you meow idiot? I don't know what you're up to, but I won't let you idiots inside. Don't think you guys are all back just because you know Valvatore. Meow. Go back to Hades, idiots. Meow. Meow. Stop calling me an idiot, idiot. If you won't let us in, then we'll resort to force. But of course. Yes, anyone who calls Big Sis an idiot will be punished by Desko. I suppose this is bound to keep happening as long as I hang around these girls. Yeah. Battle time. Now let's have a look. Oh, there's loads of prinnies, dude. I was gonna say, let's have a look, see what's what's going on in terms of levels, etc. Levels are actually pretty good, aren't they? No lifting. Oh, so we can't throw the prinnies. That's a bit annoying, but we still have got our characters carried over, so that's good. But we're going to end this part here as well. And in the next part, we'll actually see what we can do with these prinnies, because we can't lift them, so... We're going to need to get rid of that lifting over there, aren't we? And then we can throw the prinnies, dude. We'll see what happens in the next part. Ta-ta for now.